Hi, I'm Coach Rob. I want to discuss the third element associated with your hierarchy of needs associated with health, wellness, and performance. When it comes to sleep, you need to understand that you need to protect sleep at all costs. I'm going to be putting out a second video associated with sleep, so please make sure you take the time to watch that. But in regards to your hierarchy of needs, I need you to understand that if you look at what we've discussed in the first two videos, the need for fluids and the need for food, those two are absolutely imperative as it relates to your quality of sleep. If you watched our second video, we talked about quantity and quality associated with food. We look at sleep exactly the same way. Your sleep has to be of high quality, which we're going to discuss in this video, and it needs to be of a large volume. Now, I know everybody is really busy. I know it's hard to get eight, nine hours of sleep, but I'm going to ask you to go out of your way to try to make that a reality. One of the biggest issues that we have with obesity in this country is because we don't get enough sleep and we eat a lot of processed foods. So in this video, what I want you to understand is when you sleep, you're rejuvenating your body at a blood chemistry level, at a literally a tissue level. REM stands for rapid eye movement. If you read it in periodicals or you look at it online, it stands for rapid eye movement. For the sake of what we're talking about in this video series, I need you to focus on REM1 and REM3. REM1 rejuvenates your brain when you sleep. REM3 rejuvenates your body when you sleep. And REM2 is what we call a transitional phase. So for you to get more out of your exercise, to get more out of the food that you eat, and to be able to be more resilient and have a stronger immune system, you've got to get enough high quality sleep. So what I want you to think about is we need you to get to sleep quickly so that way you get into REM3. Why is REM3 so important? REM3 releases a growth hormone called human growth hormone and it's absolutely the key element for you to become leaner. Think about it this way. When you were younger, you would sleep a lot and you would eat consistently and look at how lean you were. We get older, we take on responsibilities, we start adding exercise. This is why people gain weight training for big races like a triathlon or a, uh, a marathon or any other kind of endurance sport. When you start training too hard, too long, and too often, and you start cutting into your sleep, your body starts to produce cortisol. We're going to talk about that in another video. But for the sake of this conversation, when we're looking at sleep and sleep quality, I need you to fall asleep quickly so that we get that hour, we get that quantity count of sleep. I need you to get into REM 1 and 3. That's the quality that we're looking for. There's a bunch of new watches that are out there nowadays that help you actually quantify how much time you spend in each one of those. I'd encourage you to look at those. I don't endorse them. They don't pay me. I don't get paid by them, or I, and I don't sell them. But they're a fantastic tool that we use with all of our clients because sleep is such a huge component of health, wellness, and performance. So please focus on your quality and your quantity of sleep watch your immune system get stronger, watch your energy levels get better, watch your body fat composition decrease, and if you're into athletics, watch your performance improve dramatically.